think that public reports we made improvement on some things. Um, I think one thing that people have done better on, that we continue to do better on, is understanding the meaning of neutral models like uh, drift and neutralism. Uh, I would occasionally run into phrases like neutral selection. So that's giving me a couple ideas that I'm trying to keep as separate as possible. So it's neutral as not being selected. Um, no, I think, I guess in trends, I think people, my thought is people are getting what I want them to get to different degrees. But that's, uh, that's particularly a challenge in the arts, really being comfortable with the idea of things being neutral or not being for a reason. If you're the purpose driven life, that might as well be in the context you come into the class with because you know, we are. View with a sense of purpose, so, and it's hard to catch. Get used to the idea that a lot of stuff might be for purpose. Right? So I, I don't. That probably would be helpful in terms of study, but as an intellectual exercise, yeah. I, to me, the the nature of the material changes is not very hard to identify trends. So, it most certainly would be fine to now talk about the math stuff. So, on the last exam, one of the questions. Involve R to the place where S. And I think it was a part of the reason because S wasn't out there in the question. You had to figure out P star minus T bar and figure out S for P star. I probably wouldn't make it as hard. I wouldn't ask you to go the extra step now. I, you could certainly, you shouldn't be surprised by an R to the place where S kind of question. But, you know, we've done that. Oh, yeah, you know, those kids, I'll still give you any equations that you would need. In fact, I'll give you a whole sheet of equations. Uh, they're probably less involved than what we said before. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a simple Hardy Weinberg on there. Very simple Hardy Yeah, so, but you know, that's, that's one age. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, you'll get that. <laughs> so, I would expect you to still be able to. Selection equations, but I wouldn't make it a very difficult scenario because we got a lot of material to cover. So I wouldn't yeah, probably, but that. So yeah, so I'm trying to think now what our selection equation was before, but it was probably embedded in a scenario uh, in a way that I wouldn't, I wouldn't think you would probably extract the meaning out of. Uh, you probably have a more straightforward selection. So I don't want you to, to know less of the final. Uh, I, I will give you less challenging scenarios for all the material, but I would still expect you to understand what the equations mean. Yeah. I don't think so. Like, would you be giving us like where you can get this for? Like last time you just gave us the entire equation without the order, but this time it's a little harder to. You know, it's too much of the same. Harder to keep all the equations in. Had yeah, so the question is, will I tell you what the equations are used for? Because I think that we have a general selection equation, we have a balancing selection equation, we have mutation selection balance. So all those other equations, maybe mine, but they have heavy by us. All those other, a lot of the equations are just variations on the general selection equation. So, yeah, I guess. I would want you to understand enough about the scenario to know is this a balancing selection or is this something where I'm just asking what's in the next generation. So, yeah, relax. So, um, for me, 20 years said to see the annotation for the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah. someone just I mentioned mean, that they didn't see them. Yeah, we didn't. Okay, I'll double yeah, check and put them up. I thought that they were up and then they disappeared. Really? Then, okay. Did you guys Some that I didn't find, and I, oh, one of them, Arch, you guys, yeah, you guys have Presby. Yeah. I don't know quite how to. He sent the PDF. Yeah, Okay, I'll look back. We'll send you another one. Okay, and 
you know what? Yeah, I'm saying it could be Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, so the questions about those are not going to be detailed, in-depth questions, but I want you to look at what you got just very brief. Probably more along the lines of match. I don't think they ask you if you want. In our presentation, we have all the information in the notes. So it would be good if it's a button, like a stop or something like that. Or, or does it not matter? I don't think it will matter, okay. and since I didn't have the same degree of detail in all the notes, I decided not to put it up for any of them. Okay. If anything, I just wanted to be a little bit sensitive to any issues. And that will be a, a small income, very small income, in the final. Like, do you expect a question about each one, or just like random? Well, you know, the questions that I would imagine would probably be uh, matching a main concept from a goodly number of them to uh, questions. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how best I can phrase it. It's not going to be right an essay. Okay. Uh, it will be you know, the main point. If you listen to the presentation, yeah, kind of, except that might be a little too hard because a lot of people hate going to play. Yeah, I don't know. That's great. What's that? that an, yeah. an example of a question, uh, sure. Um, the question is, can I give an example of what one of these questions might look like related to the presentation? Yeah. Uh, so we'll take theropods as an example. Yeah. So it could be something like, among the list of terms, this might be pretty easy. Um, uh, this theory has been proposed as a possible explanation for the origin of flight. And then from another, another long list of things that include pleiotropy or domestication of dogs and so on, one of them being wing assisted in flight mining. That sounds terrible. Oh, that was good. Yeah, you like that? So I can't promise I'll all be that straightforward, but that's kind of the level. Because that was one of the, that was one of the main things that you guys were getting across. You know, there's this all You know, part of it is, yeah, so I could say something like excitation. So feathers are a blank for um, the client, and one of the terms might be excitation. For your particular example, that really wasn't your main point, I don't think. So I probably would use that. Sorry? The one in the PowerPoint is a PDF. Yeah, well, I asked for a native PowerPoint, because then I can make them six slides to a page, so I send them that way. Someone emailed me saying, I don't know what native, what you mean by native, but I just meant the PowerPoint format. So, ours shows a presentation thing. Is that okay if we use the PDF and have a PDF? Yeah, if I had a PDF, then I just threw that in there. That's fine. Yeah, it's dropped off. I'm giving, I'm giving it up later than I intended to. I think I had it up there, but I don't know why it was dropped off. Uh, it's not in depth, so really what I wanted to focus on was. We did talk about rates. I was just a step on top of that. We didn't get there. But we did talk about multiple migrations out of Africa. And the potential for intermediate and later migrations. in modern human populations. And the additional, more reasonable thing that apparently was back in migration into Africa was to find the end of all sheep in some African populations. And there was one paper, a short that posted, so you could use that as a guide. Yeah, so really focus on that. So the slides are up to tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I have an answer. Yeah. Oh, that tomorrow's? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
You wrote it in your keynote. Did I? I must have started oh, yeah. drinking beer. Right. Yeah, if you come in drinking a beer, you can get extra credit. I will drink beer the whole class. <laughs> Uh, so what does St. Patrick do? Is he the one that drugs snakes out of Ireland? Do you know that's so anti-biological? Snakes are cool. So many ways they do. Some are just monstrous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what the luck of the Irish will bring to How many of you are Irish? Uh, most places. I thought I would get in trouble if I gave everybody else extra credit because they are not descended from the snake kingdom. <laughs> I'm actually more of a snake kingdom. Oh, it's a big picture. Yeah. Um, can you like, draw the, the graph where it talks about how the selection shadow can move? Oh, sure. So the question has to do with selection shadow. And we already have the survivorship curve up here. <laughs> So, this depicts a population in which there's a lot of early mortality, and, and this is a common kind of survival curve. Once you get to a certain age, you tend to have lower rates of mortality. Can you talk about the y-axis of probability of selection curve? Is that the values? Well, there was. That's um, a different curve. Oh. So, yeah. I think this is the one I used for selection shadow. So there's a lot of mortality early, not so much late. If the gene doesn't actually cause a problem until really late in life, after reproduction anyway, it's not likely to be selected against. So if you do live to this age, then you're going to start dying for age and age. Suppose you had the environment change so that rather than most individuals dying fairly young anyway, you have a much gentler life. So survivorship was higher at any given age. Now, since so many individuals in this example, maybe something like four or five times as many, live to the age that this gene is being expressed. It's more likely to influence reproduction. So let's just forget this for now. It's more likely to influence reproduction. So what was kind of in the shadow back here, because very few individuals live long enough to actually express it, now can be subject to selection. So many individuals live that long, if that starts affecting survivorship of 50% of the population instead of 5%, then selection is going to see that. And if there's an impact on reproductive success, so either you reproduce late or you help rear your offspring for extended period of time, or your important social status being from age helps your offspring <coughs> produce their own offspring, which is true for primates, then suddenly this is no longer in the shadow. So now it's only these genes that act way out here that aren't seen by selection. So these nasty genes get removed. So what was age-related death that happened at this age now might not happen until much later. Right? So it's just because, and this would be extrinsic mortality because so much less of it here, the natural selection sees like acting on the other spot. Okay. So the question is, can this book have changed survivorship? It could, if you had um, selection for delayed reproduction. So that was an example that we looked at. So selection might be the same, but only the oldest individuals got to reproduce. So that's effectively making it more 